Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at one of our new QUTS Hero Edition NAS, which is the TS-3088XU-RP. Now this is a all SSD array, and we'll look at the two options we're offering it uh, available at launch. Um, the bottom one there is the uh, the lower spec, which is the Xeon W6 core 12 thread, and it comes with 32 gig of RAM. And the top option is the same Xeon W series, but it's an 8 core 16 thread variant, and this one has got double the RAM at 64 gig. Uh, both units can be upgraded to a maximum RAM of 128 gig if you needed it, um, and they both also come with two 25 gig um, uh, SFP28 ports as standard as well, and you can kind of see that in the picture there in slot number one of the PCI Express ports. If we move on to the front view, also we put a rear view there just because it shows you all the drive bays. Um, the 30 drive bays are made up of 24 bays on the front, 6 on the rear, and they're all 2.5 inch SATA SSD trays. Um, there's also a couple of indicator lights extra on the front as well. When we look at the detailed view of the rear, we can see all three PCI Express expansion slots. Slot 1 is taken out of the box with that 25 gig card, but you could swap that out to a 40 gig card if you needed to. And slots 2 or 3 could be used for extra items like 10 gig cards, SAS expansion cards, so we've got a few other options that you can use in there as well. Uh, for extra connectivity, we do have four 2.5 gig LAN ports built in as standard as well, so you can trunk those together for a combined 10 gig if you needed it. Uh, there's also four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Uh, we've got two different types here, Type A and Type C, and you can also use those for some expansion options if you wanted to. Uh, we have also included a HDMI port as well if you needed to link it up to any displays. Um, and it is a dual redundant hot swap PSU configuration. You can see those over there on the right hand side. We'll take a little peek inside the unit here. So you've got your four RAM slots over there on the left. And if you were to populate that with the four 32 gig RAM modules, that would take you up to the maximum of 128 gig. And the three PCI Express slots are very easily accessible over there at the top right. So very easy to gain access and change out any components or install new ones if you needed to. So we're going to look at a couple of performance pages now. So the first one is going to be um, a cache hit performance. The second one will be direct to the SSDs. And I'll draw your attention down to the bottom right side first. I've tried to explain this as best I can to explain how the two tests differ. So this first test, the file size we're testing with is 8 gig in size. Now as this NAS has 64 gig of RAM, with a read and write um, of an 8 gig file, if we double that up to the 16 gig to combine the read and write together, um, that 16 gig is less than the amount of RAM that we have. So we can effectively do um, a, a RAM cache hit instead. So we're going to write the data to the NAS. And as soon as the RAM's got that data, the NAS is going to reply that the transfer is complete. So we can get much faster um, IOPS and throughput from this device. Um, the RAM will then offload itself as quick as the SSDs can take it later, but we won't have to send a transfer complete command when that's done. That's being taken care of within the product itself, within the NAS. So that gives you a much higher performance. So this would be probably one of the best reasons to upgrade to a higher RAM. If your data was going to be exceeding um, the built-in amount of RAM, um, you can always upgrade it to get more cache performance from it as well. It's not like SSD caching because obviously it's already an all SSD array. So we're using the RAM to do the cache hits on this one because RAM is much faster. When we look at the performance numbers there, uh, we're just over 5,000 uh, megabytes per second on a sequential read, um, just under 5,000 megabytes per second on the sequential write, and the IOPS are nearly 600,000 there on the read um, and just over 300,000 on the write. So very, very high performance. Um, keep those numbers in mind. So when we switch to the next, the next page here, we're going to look at the direct SSD access. Um, so if I draw your attention again down to the bottom right, um, because the file size here is 64 gig, when we double that up for the read and write, that's 128 gig, which is much bigger than the RAM built into the product. So this one, the data is going to go straight through the RAM, straight to the disk, because there isn't enough space in the RAM to take that transfer. So now we're going to be testing the speed of the array itself rather than the RAM. 
So as the data is going straight through the RAM um, to the SSDs, the numbers that we're getting are a little, little less because the SSDs are not as quick as the RAM, um, but still the numbers are very, very high. So you've almost got 4,000 megabytes per second there on the sequential read um, and still over 2,000 on the sequential write. And the IOPS for both are both around the 250,000 mat for read and write. So it's still a very, very high performing unit, even if your file sizes are bigger than the RAM that you've got inside the unit. So a very high performance unit. Um, for the last page here, we're just gonna take a quick look at a comparison between some other brand NAS um, that are in the same marketplace. Um, so we offer significantly higher performance from the CPU. We've actually jumped up a series there on the Xeon. So instead of using a Xeon D like some other brands do, um, it's using the Xeon W, much higher performance, clock speed, um, amounts of cores. It's just a, a much better CPU. Um, and with the different options that we've got, even our base option at 32 gig um, is still twice the RAM of the other brands. And we do support all the way up to 128 gig. Uh, because we managed to fit six extra bays on the rear, We've got more drive bays built in as standard as well. And also by including the 25 gig NIC there, it's a dual port NIC. And that's giving you a 50 gig a second total out the box from the 25 gig NIC. And you've got an additional 10 gig from the four on board two and a half gig ports as well. Um, and you can always add to that with the PCI Express expansion slots. There are two free slots on there if you needed more. So yeah, for the PCIe, you can add various different adapters if you wanted, so NVMe cache cards or fiber channel, um, anything else, SAS expansion cards, you've got that as an option. Um, and at the bottom there, we've got the extra capacity. So with our 16 bay expansion enclosure, you can attach up to 16 of those to this unit. Now on top of the original built-in 30 bays, that's up to 286 drives that you can have, uh, whereas the competitor will top out at about 72 drives there. Um, so that was the quick look into the uh, TS-H3088XU-RP. Uh, if you need any more information or specs, please go take a look at our website. There's a lot more information on the product on the webpage itself. And please feel free to check out any of our other YouTube videos as well. Thanks a lot.